Okay, every single summer, time in and time out, I've told myself, now that I no longer have school, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m., rise and grind. This time for sure, I'm gonna make moves in silence, silently making moves with little to no sound, work nonstop for the next three to four months, become rich. And if you're anything like me, you always end up spending each and every day doing anything but that. <laughs> Summer ends, back to school, and you're back to dreaming about a time when you just wish you had time. The summer's different though. The summer, we're gonna build. For a little bit of context, our most recent adventure is this thing called Neighborhood, where if you as a teenager spend 100 hours coding an app, we will give you a travel grant to fly over to SF, San Francisco, from anywhere. And we will provide you with housing, groceries, basic needs, so that you can spend all your time and energy building alongside other teenagers and feeling independent for the first time. Oh, and you have to code 40 hours a week. And so, about one week ago, I found myself in San Francisco. The only problem was... Simone, yeah. what was the house like when you first got to it? The house was empty. Like, I went the first time in Sunset, I just arrived, and we entered and there was only carpet, and the house was empty. This spot is found on the street. Come with me, come with me. This time is bought by Thomas. Also these forks, these bowls, we just bought, Oliver bought, the decors were, were found on the street. Everything that is decoration and was found on the street. So yeah, when we came, there was nothing in the apartment. And it wasn't just that. Out of maybe like 440 people doing neighborhood, only five had come at the beginning. And if we do the math on that, that is a conversion rate of 1%. <laughs> Everyone is able to like choose the time spent that they decide to come to neighborhood within the next three months, but that is still like really low. We have three apartments rented out completely and only like one of them filled. So needless to say, there's just a lot of work to do because things just weren't going well. Right now we're going to the kickoff that's going to take place at like a public working space and we're going to have pastries and coffee which is great because I slept for six hours so yeah very excited for them. It's kind of brave to be a pioneer you know like you, you guys came kind of unaware you had no real idea what this was. It's kind of intuitive that adventures are kind of like this you know but Something I found is adventures are generally much more like this. <laughs> this is like where we grow a lot, you know, and like this is what I think what makes adventures like super valuable. And now we're like here, so <laughs> expect this next week to be um, a lot of hardship. But I hope like as you look around, like the people you're around right now, you guys kind of know each other. Like you went from strangers to like you guys share some food, you guys know each other a bit. But like expect over this next week where that bond will grow like much closer as you guys go through hardship together and like build something awesome. My biggest thing I was telling Thomas was that, like, we're all in SF, but no one leaves the apartment. You know why? Why? Because they have to type. They have to do eight hours of typing. Yes. Creativity is very punished by hacker time. To, like, be creative, you have to stay and think and talk to people. That's not considered work here. We should inspire this into them. You came here as a person. You're not the same person you were when you left your home country. You have the power to work on anything you want and do something incredible. And we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. We have like uh, five people right now. Hannah, Yuki, Simon, Oliver, and then we also have Cosman as well. So I think the hardest thing this week was like, okay, people are here living in San Francisco, let's code, let's build something. Everyone was able to hit like 40 hours logged working on their projects. But like, how do we kind of inspire people to dream bigger, to, to make something that they're super proud of? We were like, this is cool. How, how are we gonna do this? Everyone was like staying in the house. People would walk outside and they weren't really that inspired. We have to make a drastic change. We have to make something happen. We have to shake things up. So we did. 
moved everyone to Mission. And then like literally 45 minutes later, we had an Uber there picking all the beds, taking all the people. We had ideas like, what if we actually incentivize people going out of the house, going into events and like meeting people, getting inspired? Like what if we made so like you could long time, not just like hands on the keyboard writing code, but also like doing design stuff, other things relating to building your product. So this week only, we're doing a special thing where like if a student goes to an event and like they take a photo, send it in the neighborhood channel, then that counts as two hours toward the 40 that they need along for their project. There's a lot of interesting people in SF. You have to talk to a lot of non-interesting people to meet the interesting people. So if you go to a lot of events, you're going to have a lot more chances. It is currently 10 o'clock. Some people are going off to Cupertino, but we have a tech gala event later on in the day. Hopefully get to network and meet interesting people. You said we need a, a tech souvenir. What's a tech souvenir? I don't know. I don't know. I, I had an idea though. What are you guys showing at the tech gala? No idea for me, Malfriend. Malfriend? Maybe my natural honey. <laughs> what? Like, this is a crazy idea. I'm gonna see like, you shut it down like immediately. Like, what if you all work together on like, something really small? What ship it today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Yeah? That's like nine hours. What do you think, Yuki? It's crazy. <laughs> That's what I like. If you have to clean anything, and then you can like click on the person. Very fast version. That's crazy. Yeah. For like, if you have to clean anything. What are those? <laughs> They're my new shoes I got for my birthday. They're off the street. <laughs> You think we're gonna be able to do this in eight hours? No. Well, we're gonna try. Two, one, hack. Ready? Three, two, one, hack. I believe we can do it. Flutter actually works now on my laptop. How long did that take? Like one and a half hours. Also, you can have rooms now and then you can click on it and you can set how much it's cleaned. And then when you save it, it says how much it's cleaned. I'm waiting for the Firebase stuff to work so that we can actually save it because right now if we leave the page, it's gone, which is not so great. I tried to integrate my app into this new app, but some location system didn't work because of the version difference, whatever's on mine. So like in this two hours, I didn't make any progress. I'm, I'm confident that we can get a satisfying result today that's usable and useful. It's not gonna be scalable for now. It's just a minimal viable product, so. Yeah, so the purpose of neighborhood is like having the opportunity to get independence. It's really rare for teenagers to just like move out of their home, move to San Francisco and live with a bunch of other people like them and just build projects together. I've been to several hacker houses and almost all of them. You go and you meet a bunch of people that are like really good at talking to VCs, but like nobody's actually coding anything. One thing that's like really special about the neighborhood is like in order to stay at the neighborhood, like you actually need to be coding. Like you actually need to be every week shipping a project. This past week, everyone in the neighborhood shipped a real project and I can't wait to see what more people will build like as they come. So I came back and we have like only two hours, 10 minutes until the event. And we promised to kind of like go early so that we can help set up, which will be kind of cool. Honestly, I think it'll be really cool, but time is ticking. <laughs> So we've got an overview, which is literally just whether the dishes have been done. We've got a location that still needs the API key. We've got the groceries and we've got how clean the rooms are. Right now we're going straight home, but we're going to basically have to go straight to the tech gala because we've got to set up. So we've got like 20 minutes to get this implemented, something like that, would you say? So um, it's going to be great meeting people, seeing what people are making. I get automatically created. Hold on. Yeah. This is nice. amazing. Um, I love, I love this. So no shoes of bad. <laughs> Hello. We're here to help. Basketball. Yeah, basketball. Yeah. So this is it. 
Hi, I'm Faisal, a uh, former hack clubber living in SF right now. And we're hosting this tech gala uh, happening tonight. And I invited a bunch of hack clubbers who are doing the neighborhood program to come here and just experience how the event goes. Hack. Ready? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, hack! <laughs>